The house edge at blackjack is about one half of one percent. Now, what does that mean? In the long run, you can expect to lose one half of one percent of the total amount you bet. Note that that can be a lot more than what you bring to the casino to gamble because you keep winning and losing back and forth. For example, if you're playing $10 per hand and you play 100 hands per hour, you're betting a total of $1,000 per hour. So your average loss per hour is one half of 1% of $1,000, which is $5. So you can expect to lose about $5 per hour or half a hand per hour. Now note that that's an average for the long term. In the short run, you could easily win or lose quite a bit more than that. Therefore, you should bring enough money to accommodate losing streaks of say 10 or 15 bets. So if it's about one half of 1%, what is it exactly? Well, that depends on what the rules are in the casino where you're playing. To find out the house edge for a particular set of rules, go to this website, wizardofodds.com, games, blackjack, calculator, and enter the rules like this. For example, typical games in Las Vegas are six decks, uh, dealer hits soft 17, player is allowed to double after splitting a pair, and it can double in any two cards. Player can re-split, but not aces. Player loses the original bet against dealer blackjack. That's true, except in Europe. For Europe, you would answer no here. Surrender none, blackjack pays three to two, which is normal. And what do we get down here? Optimal results, 0.61%, about one half, a little more than one half of 1% is the house edge. Now the most important rule on, on this whole list is this one, the blackjack payoff, a six to five payoff triples the house edge to around 2%. So if you ever find a six to five game, keep walking until you find a game that pays three to two, that's real blackjack. Now, what if you don't know what the rules are at the casino where you plan to play? Well, there is a solution to that. Go to this website, Stanford Wong's Blackjack at bj21.com. By the way, um, I have links to all of these websites underneath the video, so uh, just click the links afterward. At this uh, BJ21 website, scroll down until you see Current Blackjack News and click Sample Issue, and then search for the name of the casino that you'll be playing at. Uh, for example, we'll scroll down to the first few in the list in Las Vegas. For example, the Aria. Let me scroll down a little more. The first column shows the number of tables that have this particular set of rules. They have six tables with a house edge of 0.19%, which is a great house edge. You can't find anything better than that. This is a two deck game. The cut column tells you when they shuffle. In this case, when there's seven tenths of a deck remaining. Um, the minimum bet is $50 per hand. The maximum is $10,000 per hand. And these are particular rules. At these tables, blackjack pays three to two. Dealer stands on soft 17. Doubling down after splitting is allowed and the cards are dealt from a shoe. These are the games to avoid. These four tables and these 16 tables uh, pay only six to five on blackjack, so they have a house edge of around 1.8%. You're much better off playing at any of, the, any of these other tables. Now note that although these tables may be present, not all of them may be open at any given time. And in fact, during less busy times, many if not most of these tables will be closed. Now in order to get these house edge figures to be accurate, you need to play the best possible basic strategy for a given set of rules. To find out the basic strategy for each set of rules, go to this website, Wizard of Odds slash Games Blackjack Strategy Calculator. Enter the rules here. Let's say uh, four more decks, dealer hits soft 17, double after splitting allowed, no surrender, Dealer peaks for blackjack. That means you only lose your original 
bet against the blackjack. And here's the strategy for that set of rules that you selected. Uh, this is a double on these hands against against these dealers up cards, stand on these, hit on these. Uh, for soft totals, where ace counts as 11, you've got a different doubling, hitting, and standing strategy. And this is how you split pairs. Now you can see a lot of zigzags and funny shapes, so it's pretty hard to memorize this strategy. So instead of learning the complete basic strategy, you can learn a simplified basic strategy. Let me show you where to go for that, blackjackcalculation.com, where you have some simplified, easier to memorize blackjack strategy charts. Here's the perfect basic strategy. It took you about one month of study and practice to memorize and become proficient at it. But here's some simplified strategies. The great, which take about a week. A simple strategy, which will take about a day, and a super easy, which will take about one hour. And you can see here from this chart what you can expect to happen in the long run and in a typical session of 100 hands. For example, let's take a look at the super easy strategy. Scroll on here, click on the chart. The strategy says always split aces and eights, always double on 11. If you have a, a two card total of nine or 10, double against a dealer low card, that is two through six. If you have a soft total, you hit soft 17 or less, stand on soft 18 or more. And for the hard totals, uh, if the dealer has a low card showing, you always stand, in other words, never bust. If the dealer has a high card showing, 7 through ace, you mimic the dealer, that is, hit until you get at least 17. What is the cost of simplifying the strategy? Go back to, go back to the previous chart. For example, if you're playing $10 per hand and 100 hands per hour with a perfect basic strategy, you can expect to lose, in the long run, about $6.40 per hour. Uh, with a super easy strategy, we can expect to lose an additional $4.40. But once again, you can learn this in one sitting, whereas these more difficult strategies, which are better, will take you more time. So once again, that website is blackjackcalculation.com. Good luck.